is Renee. So for these earrings, I'm going to be using porcelain clay. Feel free to use polymer clay if you prefer. I just work with this one because you don't have to bake it and you get a lot more product. I'm going to be working over my craft mat. I do have the review for this one. But yeah, I'm going to be taking some clay and I'm going to be rolling this into not a really thin shape, but not like super thick, somewhere in between. Folding this in half, cutting this, making my edges round. Folding this, I think the curve of like candy canes like this. Cutting the excess again, because these are earrings and you want them to be like somewhat, not identical maybe, but somewhat similar. And so what helped me is just make one first and then just place that one on top of like the other one just to base myself from there i'm using here my exacto knife just to work on like the curve of this and yeah i'm going to let this dry once it's starting to dry but it's not like fully dry yet you can really tell by how it looks like from the outside from the outside it looks kind of hardened but from the inside it's still soft marking where i want to cut it with my sharpie with a bit of an angle in there and then just cutting it with my exacto knife if you're working with polymer clay you just cut it now polymer clay doesn't lose its shape as much as this one does when it's like super soft so that's why i waited for the outside to be kind of like hardened just so that i would just keep the shape i'm gonna take a couple of ear posts and the backs of them i'm gonna be placing this inside my clay if you're working polymer clay do the same thing and just until the whole thing's just a flat so when you close your earring it looks like a candy cane and i'm gonna let it dry with the whole thing in it if you're using polymer clay bake the whole thing i'm gonna be gluing i didn't find a clip of me actually gluing this i don't know i either didn't record anything at all or just lost the clip but pretty much i added a tiny bit of glue onto my ear paws and then just glued the front part using my watercolor paint my brush and i'm gonna be giving this three to four coats letting it dry between coats now I'm going to be taking my red acrylic paint, my detail brush, and this other brush that I do have the DIY showing you how to make this. And first I'm going to be using the DIY brush just to mark where my stripes are going to be. And then going with my pink detail brush, paint the stripes. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys, this was kind of hard to do because of how tiny my figure is. And because you have to go around it, but diagonal line. You know what I mean? It's not like straight line. So just I went like step by step, like side by side. Again, first with my like trace line and then just with the other brush making the line thicker when i was doing this though i thought of like an easier way to do this hopefully share with you for next christmas but i also wanted to share like the hand painted version of this and for the other one i'm going to be doing the same thing but opposite like going for the opposite direction and with this one i made a lot of mistakes because again it's kind of hard and challenging but it's okay because with some white acrylic paint you can erase your mistakes make your lines smoother or just work on the shape a bit better i'm going to be adding some gloss the one that i'm using is by sculpey and i gave this two to three coats letting it dry between coats overall i really like them i think hand painting this adds a really nice element because so it looks rustic but it looks pretty i think anyways this is what they look like on someone told me that they look like festive earbuds and i mean probably they do but i think they look really cute anyways i think they look so much fun and festive like a settled statement but still a festive statement hopefully you like them too if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up and share this thank you so much for watching merry christmas and i'll talk to you later bye